Because of its unique combination of Asian and European traditions, Singapore is considered to be one of the greatest cities in the world. Here, we brought this video with a list of top 10 places to visit in marvelous Singapore. Since gaining its independence in 1819, what was formerly a British trading colony in 1819 has evolved into one of the most prosperous city-states in the world and is home to one of the busiest ports in the world. Elegant colonial structures can be found coexisting with street markets that date back centuries and contemporary high-rises. Even though the local government can be harsh with inhabitants and visitors who act inappropriately, law-abiding tourists who explore this multicultural city can't help but be enthralled by its myriad of fascinating cultures. In this video, here is an introduction to some of the most popular tourist destinations in Singapore. Number 1. Marina Bay Sands When it opened in 2010, Marina Bay Sands was the world's most expensive structure, having been constructed for 5.7 billion US dollars, making it the most expensive building in the world at the time. Visitors who are interested in construction expenses will enjoy touring the resort. A luxurious hotel, restaurants, an unending array of stores, a convention center that is one of the largest in Asia, a theater, an art science museum, and other entertainment centers can all be found within the Marina Bay Sands Integrated Resort. In addition to that, it features an indoor skating rink that uses fake ice. Number 2. Murrayan Park In front of the Fullerton Hotel and facing Marina Bay is where you'll find one of the most well-known tourist attractions in all of Singapore, Murrayan Park. It features two sculptures of the well-known Murrayan, which is a legendary creature, with the head of a lion and the body of a fish. It is said to be able to shoot water from its mouth. The Murrayan statue in Marina Bay Sands is a great location to unwind and take some time for yourself. From Murrayan Park, visitors can embark on river excursions to other neighboring locations and explore the neighborhood. The breathtaking skyline and the glistening water of the Singapore River are all you need to make the trip an experience you will never forget. At the Marina Sands Bayview, guests get the opportunity to take in the mesmerizing light and water show that takes place nightly and transforms the marina into a breathtaking setting for visitors. Number 3. Botanic Gardens UNESCO has designated the Singapore Botanic Gardens as a World Heritage Site. This honor is bestowed upon the gardens. On Orchard Road may be found a tropical garden that has been here for 163 years. There are more than 10,000 different kinds of plants and flowers distributed across its 82 hectares of land. The Orchid Research and Breeding Center at the Botanic Garden is widely recognized as being among the best in the world. More than 1,000 different species of orchids and 2,000 different hybrids of orchids are on show, making it the largest tropical orchid garden in the world. There is a palm valley, a bandstand area, a sun garden, a sundial garden, a foliage garden, and an ethnobotany garden within the Singapore Botanic Gardens. Symphony Lake, Eco Lake, and Swan Lake are the three lakes that may be found in the Botanic Gardens. Additionally, there are instructional zones, woodland habitats, and a healing garden that has over 400 different kinds of medicinal plants inside the grounds of the garden. A stroll through the Bonsai Garden or the Sun Garden, both of which feature dry landscapes rich in succulents and other plants native to arid climates, is the perfect way to relax and unwind. A water play area, a miniature playground, tree homes with slides, and a maze can be found in the interactive Jacob Ballas Children's Garden. This garden is specifically designed for children. Number 4. Visit both the Singapore Zoo and the Night Safari. The open concept of the Singapore Zoo, in which animals are allowed to roam free in large, open areas that have been designed to resemble the surroundings in which they would be found in their natural habitats, has made the zoo famous. There is an orangutan exhibit in the Singapore Zoo that allows the animals free range, and the zoo pays particular attention to endangered primates and chelonians from Southeast Asia. The Mandé Zoo is a park that covers a total area of 28 hectares and is home to approximately 2,800 animals representing 300 different species. Some of the animals that can be found here include kangaroos, lions, white tigers, leopards, cheetahs, orangutans, giraffes, crocodiles, penguins, sea lions, and snakes. The Singapore Zoo is one of the authorized places for rescued species in the country, and it is actively involved in national and regional conservation efforts. In addition to it, the zoo features a river safari, a night safari, and a rainforest lumina. The Jungle Breakfast with Wildlife is an internationally acclaimed and award-winning program that delivers an exhilarating encounter with orangutans. It is set in an environment that is reminiscent of a tropical rainforest, and it allows children and their families to take part in an exciting outdoor feast. In the eastern region of Singapore, you'll find a compound that houses both the Singapore Zoo and the Night Safari simultaneously. Through the use of specialized illumination, visitors can observe more than 2,500 nocturnal animals belonging to 130 different species in realistic settings at the world's first night zoo, which opened in 1994. Number 5. Chinatown and the Buddha Tooth Temple 
Chinatown, which is consistently ranked as one of the most popular destinations in Singapore, is home to a wide variety of outstanding restaurants, tourist attractions, and retail establishments. This historic town features a variety of old and new stores and markets throughout its downtown area. Traditional Chinese cuisine can be procured from a range of establishments, including restaurants with upscale dining options, food booths, and street vendors. The Buddha Tooth Relic Temple is well-deserving of a trip. The interior is laid out in the shape of a mandala, which is a fundamental concept in Buddhist and Hindu spirituality. Mandalas are meant to symbolize how all things are interconnected. The Holy Buddha Tooth Relic is housed in this gorgeous building that is four stories tall. The golden stupa in the center of this temple is where the sacred relic is stored. It is the most impressive part of the complex. The Sri Mariamman Temple is not only one of the oldest shrines in Singapore, but it is also the most important place of worship for Tamil Hindus in the country. This bustling street in Chinatown is lined with stalls selling a variety of made-in-China products including Lucky Cats, Laughing Buddhas, house decorations, and lanterns. The nighttime atmosphere of the market, with its lovely lights and colorful lanterns, is when it shines. So viewers, don't forget to put in button the thumb up, click to the bell, and subscribe. Number 6. Clark Quay Clark Quay is the epicenter of the nightlife scene in Singapore. It also features nightclubs, bars, pubs, and restaurants along the water's edge. This region, which used to be a commercial hub along the Singapore River, today draws in both Singaporeans and visitors from other countries because of its lively riverbank setting. River taxis and cruises also leave from this location, providing visitors with additional opportunities to view the city's historic bridges and other points of interest. The Clark Quay was constructed on the Singapore River planning and is situated in the neighborhood of the well-known Boat Quay. It is a location that is significant historically and also hosts a variety of recreational activities. Number 7. Sentosa Island One of the most well-known tourist destinations in Singapore is the island of Sentosa. The island's total land area is 500 hectares and it offers a diverse selection of recreational opportunities. There is something for everyone from places of natural beauty such as rainforests, beaches and marinas to places of leisure and sports activity such as spa resorts, golf clubs and bike routes. The only cable car that is currently in operation in Singapore is the one that runs from Mount Faber to the Imbia Lookout Station in Sentosa. It is strongly recommended that families bring their young children to both the Butterfly Park and the Insect Kingdom. More than 15,000 different species of butterflies can be found flying about the countryside. The Kingdom of Insects is home to more than 3,000 endangered species from all over the world, as well as a dynast Hercules beetle that measures 160 millimeters in length. Number 8. Jurong Bird Park Over 5,000 birds from 400 different species are housed in Jurong Park, making it the largest bird park in all of Asia. The park spans a total area of 20 hectares. Children and people who have a passion for birds should not miss the opportunity to experience the world's largest walk in aviary, which also features the highest man-made waterfall. There are a variety of birds that can be observed, including the great blue turaco, the hyacinth macaw, the rainbow lorikeet, the king penguin, and the African penguin. Take a trip on the panorail across Singapore's Jurong Bird Park to see the attraction in its entirety while enjoying the comfort of the air conditioning. Both the Penguin Coast and the Pelican Cove displays are well worth seeing. You can also participate in the interactive session known as the Hornbill Chit Chat Session, during which one of the park's big hornbills will be shown to the audience. There is also Flamingo Lake, which features a large number of birds preening themselves. Number 9. Universal Studios On Sentosa Island is where you'll find the enormous theme park known as Universal Studios Singapore. It consists of seven different themed zones each of which contains a variety of attractions including rides, shows, meet and greets, shopping, and eateries. The first and only park of its kind in Southeast Asia, the Universal Studios theme park has exciting rides, shows, and attractions that are based on well-known movies and television episodes. Children and teenagers can participate in a wide variety of entertaining activities at Universal Studios Singapore. Kids will have a great time meeting the residents of Sesame Street in New York, exploring space in Sci-Fi City including rides themed after Battlestar Galactica and Transformers, escaping the mummy in ancient Egypt, finding dinosaurs from Jurassic Park in the Lost World, meeting the minions in Hollywood, and having a wonderful time on their trip to the exotic island of Madagascar. Number 10. Singapore Flyer The Singapore Flyer, a gigantic observation wheel that stands in the middle of the buildings that make up the skyline of Singapore, is the destination of choice for visitors seeking the most breathtaking views of the city. The Singapore Flyer, which stands at a height of 541 feet, features an enclosed glass capsule that provides climate control for up to 780 passengers. Each round lasts for a total of 30 minutes. When the weather is clear, the views from the top of the wheel extend into the neighboring countries of Malaysia and Indonesia. 
The Singapore Flyer will not reopen to the public until September 7, 2022, as the attraction is now closed for refurbishment until that date. Check their website for the opening date and for any other updates that may have occurred. So viewers, tell me which place you like more? Give your precious feedback in our comment section below. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.